Hello and welcome. My name is Keisha. In this truth seeker requested video, I will discuss some of the alleged lies Beyonce mentioned in her childhood comparison to the legendary Jackson family. Let's talk about it. Please note that this is all alleged. I've never met any of these people. I've deeply researched all of my information. This is a trigger warning. In this video, I may be talking about or showing sensitive material about some subjects or topics that may be disturbing or upsetting or may bring forth some troubling memories, as you read in the description or title. With that said, either in the video now or brace yourself. Aside from that, enjoy. Now, I haven't talked about this woman completely since I did the Renaissance video um, breakdown. However, I had to talk about her fabricated childhood growing up. She allegedly fabricated her childhood growing up in supposedly middle class family, which turned out not to be entirely true. Many people assumed that the Beyonce family was always wealthy and lived in a luxurious, white, beautiful house in the suburbs of Texas. Yes, that was true for a moment. The house Beyonce keeps showing as her childhood home differs from where she lived the entire time. Her family temporarily lived there while her father, Matthew, was trying to launch the Girls' Time music group. To achieve their success, he quit his job, which led to them losing their house and car. They had to move around and even rely on food stamps at some point. Take a look at this. Experienced, it affected their family in some type of way. He and Tina both put everything they had into girls' time, money, time, their house. You know, it's admirable when parents believe enough in, in their children's dreams, be willing to, to step out there. But nothing worth anything comes without a cost. The only way that I could really be successful at this was really dedicate all of Matthew to it. And that meant leaving corporate America. It was a huge adjustment because you're going from making this huge income and now you've quit your job. Matthew still had that mentality that he was making six figures and he was spending $5,000 on packages and photo shoots and kinko bills and i was like you know things have changed now tina had to take care of everything so she worked and she ran her salon and the family survived off of what tina was making we had a lot of turmoil about that our marriage really suffered then we had to sell our house we started selling the cars at that point, my mother and father had separated. I just took the girls one day and moved them into an apartment. We went from living in a six-bedroom house with this beautiful living space, and we had to move into a two-bedroom apartment. And there were a lot of us that were kind of sitting and watching on the sidelines thinking, you know, maybe, you know, he really ought to go back and do something else. And he just kept moving forward. Matthew doesn't acknowledge failure. So he doesn't let anyone around him do that either. So he got the girls right up and going again. Now, parts of that little behind the scenes VH1 closer look documentary was cut off. She went into depth that they had to go on food stamps. They moved out of state several times while they were trying to get girls time off and running. But they cut it out because, you know, I guess they want to sustain some kind of type of lifestyle. Now, I know you guys are saying, why then have I brought this up? As you're aware, Beyonce is predicted on the notion that her family has consistently been prosperous and has never had to struggle. Evidently, Beyonce delights in flaunting her wealth through attire, jewelry, or other possessions. She never posts anything ordinary, such as a video of a heartfelt meal or a playful exchange among her loved ones. She even avoids typing captions 50% of the time. The light and the fame have both entered her cranium, it seems. This is now the exterior peering inside through shuttered doors now. Beyonce may be the most relaxed woman on the planet, as far as I know. I mean, her stage presence and public persona may be merely theatrical and contrived to the point of extreme embellishment. Maybe. I mean, everything, including her name, formative history, and age, could all literally just be 
false. Guess what, my truth seekers? Did you know that you can get exclusive commercial free videos on my Patreon? I post my viral and block YouTube videos on there and more and stories that I wrote. You know, I write stories, people. Oh yes, I post them on there. I'm gonna start doing my video diary on there pretty soon. <laughs> Yeah, I need to communicate with my truth seekers. They are lifesavers. I love you all. Oh, okay, I'm supposed to be advertising my Patreon. The link is below. This explains why she has always acted like a privileged young lady. She constantly compares her success to that of others. She continues to do this. It is revolting. It therefore does not come as a surprise to learn that she stated this in the past to demonstrate that her desire to become a renowned singer was not motivated by financial gain. Here's what she said. Beyonce admitted to Elle magazine in 2008 that she and her bandmates were really sheltered. Here's what she said verbatim. There are a lot of things I never did, she continued, because I believe in watching those true Hollywood stories and I see how easy it is to lose track of your life. Think about Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, she continued to detail her childhood and upbringing, saying, I grew up upper class, private school. My dad had a Jaguar. We're African-American and we work together as a family. So people assume we're like the Jacksons. But I didn't have parents using me to get out of a bad situation. Here's how the Jacksons responded to these comments. Well, of course, none of the Jackson family members publicly acknowledged Beyonce comments, but a source did tell the National Enquirer that Janet Jackson was allegedly distraught, saying she didn't understand why Beyonce had to bring up her family to get her point across. Janet wanted to know why Beyonce had to mention her family. They're not friends and they barely know each other. She feels Beyonce went out of her way to tell the world she's from the upper class and the Jacksons were like a bunch of dirty gutter rats, the source claimed. It seems everything that irritates me and compels me to retrace my steps and examine previous videos, interviews, gossips, and posts. Because my initial impression when I consider Beyonce was when she was attempting all of this to protect herself. This merely demonstrated how private she is. She is not this conceited, bougie, privileged woman who delights in belittling others. I mean, no. Or for that matter, sabotaging the success of others when and if she had the opportunity to. Surely, just to maintain her position at the top. Right? 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 That Tina Knowles enjoyed a comment made about Janet Jackson. Child, now hold up now. Not Tina Knowles shading Janet Jackson, girl. Let's get into it. Okay, so as y'all know, Janet Jackson is on tour right now and she has, you know, meet and greets. You know, she meets her fans and I think it's like $2,000 or $1,000. Now, people are saying that Tina Knowles shaded Janet because she liked a negative post about her. I believe her friend Letty made this post on Instagram basically saying, what a joke, they added $1,000 for a 15 second meet and greet again. No front row for the fans unless you want to bend over so they can continue to rake in more cash. You want Beyonce prices, have a real production. Just disgusted, I'm not the only one. Oh, the DMs I'm getting. And then she continued when I guess people noticed that Tina liked the post. She said, and why y'all people keep trying to call out my friend Tina for liking my post? People in here making comments, agreeing with me, but nobody calls them out. Okay. Are they famous? Now, this friend Letty also said that, oh, uh, at least Beyonce performs for about three hours and, and, and Janet is only like a couple hours or something like that. Well, Janet has an opener. Okay. So, you know, that opener takes about an hour and then Janet performs for the you know remainder two hours. So it is a three hour show. This is kind of messy. You know, I got to be honest. I think that people are allowed to like whatever they want. But, you know, when you're famous and, you know, when that name pops up, people are going to know like, hey, you know, Tina liked this negative post about this artist. They're going to, you know, 
assume that you're shading them. The following is Tina Knowles' response to the like and comments. I received a phone call that I'm trending for liking a post about ticket prices and an artist overcharging. First of all, being on the other side of that, I know better than anyone what a great production cost and that it's expensive. And I would never criticize another art artist, let alone Janet Jackson, who is the queen of production and um, her family. I mean, they're the first family of music always have been and always will be, and I love and respect them. Uh, secondly, I stay away from negativity. If you follow me, then you know that I am not involved in the mess. So what I am guilty of is liking posts going through when I'm in a big hurry and I don't have time to really read and liking things because I trust that these are people that I follow. That was a big mistake. I will never do that again. So I just want you to hear it from my mouth that I would absolutely never do that. I get it, Tina, but this is the identical woman who retracted her, boasting about the designer labels she wore. In the video I just played, she is the same woman who left her husband because he was overly ambitious in fulfilling his children's aspirations. This new age of Aquarius has got me examining everyone. I am gradually becoming able to perceive them with great clarity now. Upon reflection, I can comprehend her remark. I mean, as long as she refrains from attributing fault to her parents, it seems she was trying to do. However, Beyonce's singing ability was just hers, of course until it was necessary to support her family and pay expenses, notwithstanding Tina's secondary hustles, okay? You see, Jackson's and the nose, okay, exhibit a degree of similarity. The only distinction was a reduction in violence. However, the outcomes, <laughs> let's face it, have been the same at various points. So, I am beginning to suspect that Beyonce has spent an extended period living this falsehood narrative, embellishing and fabricating her past and her present lives. She is starting to develop a sense of belief that this is all true. Does she even know her true self outside the stage of life and whenever she's a mother or wife or sister or whatever? I heard her mom, nannies, and other family members care better than she does for her kids. Yes, the both of them, both Beyonce and Jay-Z, they work all the time. And it takes over their lives. Specifically talking about Beyonce, it gives her a way to flee into myths and freedom and fantasy. With all this being said, should we begin to worry? Well... That's it. Let me know what you all think below. On that note, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Hit that bell to get notifications when I do post my videos. Love you all. See you all later. Bye.